So I got to tell you, I'm not a hoarder. Uh, this is my second Silver Tremendous mic, and I still have the other one, but this was an opportunity to upgrade for me. So I decided to go for it, and eventually I will sell, when I'm able to unpack my doubles, I will sell the other one, although the other one was very nice. I'll probably try to link the orange and the other gray one to this video, if I can find them. Um, you know, you can only link more recent videos when you have those little tags at the end, just so you know. So you have to uh, find your videos or else and get the URL. It's the only way to cut and paste them in there. Anyway, welcome back, my friends, to the toys that never end, the greatest toys on the internet, bar none. I have for you Mike, the only Mike that I would call tremendous. And because he is actually tremendous, tremendous style, tremendous box, probably one of the greatest robot boxes ever made, in my opinion. Um, he is a wind-up. He's supposed to have a sparkling revolving radar screen. His a radar screen will revolve, but the sparking action, as you know with these Flint toys, usually is a little meh. So anyway, if you, by the way, have you taken a moment to subscribe if you're new to the channel? Uh, what are you waiting for? And don't be a lurker. I always tell you, hit subscribe. I have uh, thousands and thousands, 150,000 views. There should be a lot more than 490 subscribers. So come on, spread the word, share the videos, do whatever you got to do. Anyway, I've shown you this box before, but you know what? Why not show it again? Because it's such a beautiful box. What makes it beautiful is the art style of the robot. It's just one of the most lovely illustrations of a robot I could think of. Also, this is really an iconic design with those eye shields, the way the mouth is, just the, the proportions of the artwork here look fantastic. And of course you have the planetscape, you have the rocket over here, you have the, uh, is that earth spinning maybe? I'm not sure, but it could be. Uh, and then you have another, planet that looks like it has a crescent light effect going on and that's your beautiful tree and even the the font right it's like a like a movie <laughs> feature like we're just going to see forbidden planet except we're going to watch tremendous mike man would this have been a good movie i would have loved to have seen a tremendous mike movie so here he is he winds up turn o go action sparkling screen and the revolving and it's i t o n a s c and again a s c the robot warboat and those other cool um toys like this the robot tank uh there there are many of them are branded a s c and uh, i t o anyway here's your side panel which i've shown you before but i'll show you again and you know if you know about the uh, custom robots the Shibakan robots made in uh, Japan. And then the artist's name escapes me now. I should know it because I, I have a couple of his pieces. But anyway, he made his own uh, tremendous mic. His stuff goes for some big bucks, though. It's a static display, though. He has a couple of robots that do operate. But anyway, here is the upgraded. And look at this. Is this clean? Look at this bottom. Do you see a scratch on there? Heck no, you don't. And look at the size. Nice and shiny. This is not a repaint. The antenna is 110% original with the red shaft. You can see that bent over. I don't, they do reproduce the, the antenna, but there's something different about the reproduction. I don't even know if they have this, the nub over here. Let me see if I can get to it. Anyway, let me just take it off and show you. See this? That little knob and the way the, the red is tabbed over. I don't think the reproductions are made this way. Also, you see how this is crimped around? They definitely don't have the crimping action. So anyway, that's your beautiful original antenna, which sits delicately on his head shaft. Because we all need a head shaft once in a while, right? And uh, then this is the, 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 the thing that really sets off the style on this, that protruding eye surround. You know, he's working around being, being wound up. You know, it probably needs a little oil. You can kind of push this guy along a little bit, friction-wise. And in the back, you have your stop go. Again, look at that. No crazing. A little dusty. i got to clean this off. Very shiny. So, you know, when you have an opportunity to get one of these in pristine condition, I say go for it. So anyway, I am going to wind him up off camera. 
that's the easiest place to do it. And uh, I think it probably won't go too far, but you know, let's see. I don't want to overwind them. Yeah, you guys pay attention to the chest. Tell me if you see any sparking. Maybe I'll pick it up later and see. I'll show you the revolving screen. <laughs> there you go. Mike needs a little lube action. Come on, Mike. I told everyone you're tremendous. Anyway, let's see if you can see this. You see that revolving? You can see the antenna spinning there. So, because I've shown you this, it's, I'd rather you see that revolving uh, chest. I was hoping to see some sparks in there, but I think the flints deteriorate over time. And then over here, this is his, uh, like his, uh, what causes him to change directions. And that's kind of stuck in there. That's one of the reasons that, you know, I'm gonna wind him up one more time. Let's see if we get him a little better. Probably not, but it's worth a shot. I wanted to show you what happens is this retracts and that's what causes them to change direction. So they... See how that extends out? And that tilts them up and lets them um, go to the other side. So here's a kind of an interesting view. I bet you nobody's showing you that part of it. And part of the problem too is the wheels get hard and it just doesn't get traction on the floor. Anyway, that's it. I don't think there's uh, any. Well, I was saying that's it, but he wants to continue. Perfect, Mike. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, look at that. <laughs> he still wants to go. He's like, no, I have more left. Let me have my moment in the sun. That's funny, isn't it? Are you going to do it again? Look at that. That's how you overwind these suckers, because you don't know that he's got all this. Now that should be it. All right. Nope. Imagine. If he would have unwound all that time without me picking up, he would have zoomed all over the place. Actually, it's fine, because you know what? I'm glad that I don't have to chase him around. Anyway, this is dragged on way too long, Mike. Thank you for joining me. As always, I appreciate your time. Thumb up the video. Leave a remark. Don't forget to subscribe and look for the next video by hitting the bell icon. This way you'll get notified. And with that, I will talk to you later.